Walter of Galair, welcome back everybody. I'm just going to talk a little bit about ethnophilic esophagitis. So it's a rare disease, very little known about it at the minute. It's been diagnosed a lot more now in America, especially in kids. So if, for example, if you're on YouTube, or not YouTube, sorry, Twitter, if you're on Twitter and you search ethnophilic esophagitis, you'll actually find a lot of moms that are tweeting about it because their kids have been diagnosed with it. So um, being diagnosed more and more, it's something that uh, I'd never talk about. I've I said the word so many more times, more times than ever since starting this um, this project. So again, it's something that I would have ignored for a long time in terms of like talking about it and just managing the food correctly so obviously I don't ignore it in my day to day because I, I can't ignore it in my day to day but verbally I don't I don't I don't talk about you know ethnophilic esophagitis. So what is it? Um, it's based basically it's a re intolerance or a an allergy to foods. So what happens is normally your throat so your esophagus normally your throat is nice and smooth so it goes down like this or else it kind of goes nice and norm smooth down like that but when you have ethnophilic esophagitis what happens is if you eat a food that you have a reaction to your throat narrows so it goes from nice and white and starts narrowing and what happens is white blood cells basically fill your throat and, and it kind of swells so your throat then becomes something that's a lot more rigid and it looks more like this so obviously if your throat is a lot more rigid uh, it's going to be a lot harder for you to swallow food so that's that's basically what it is. What will happen is if I, in the past when I wasn't controlled well, I might be eating a dinner and there might be, for example, uh, butter in the mash and I would be absolutely starving. I'd get halfway through the dinner and my throat would just, my throat would be so tight. Um, I also get used to get things caught in my throat so much as in... I might be having, again, uh, dinner and I'd swallow a mouthful of sp spuds and chicken and then all of a sudden I'm choking, I'm over the sink. I'm not choking, it's not my air pipes, but it's like there's a massive sweet stuck in my throat. Anyone who's gotten a, an endoscopy, a camera down their throat will know all about that, that feeling of a sweet in their throat. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a little bit about what it is. And um, yeah, so she and I.